Hey everybody, I'm Kate with Crate Insider and today I'm here with Randy Keen from PFC Brakes. Randy and I have known each other for a few years and today we're gonna to talk about brake pads. And, and Randy, I just would love for you to explain to us with, with the different compounds that are out there, when do you choose what comp, just give us an overview of the compounds. Okay, um, well thanks Kate for coming back by and, and talking with us. It's been what, three, four years have oh, we yeah. done this? So, but anyway, yeah, pads are, are huge. Uh, of course, in, in dirt racing. So, you know, if you got heavy tracks, you got dry, slick tracks, you hear those those comments made a lot from drivers and teams. So, uh, and it's a, it's a big deal. I mean, if you're if you're mashing the brake on a dry, slick track and you have a, a lot of friction in the car, well, you're gonna free the car up. <clears throat> um, if you're, you know, if you got a heavy track and, and, you, and you have a, a friction that's, that's uh, you don't have a lot of friction, you're, you're gonna be tight, okay? So you're not gonna free the car up. So. Um, just, you know, with late model racing, I mean, we, um, there's a situations where we actually run compounds, you know, on the left side and the right side, again, depending on the track conditions. Um, but with a lot of trail braking going on now, you're able to do those types of things. So, uh, you know, five, 10 years ago, when, you know, you just had a lot of brake stabbers is, is what people would say. Um, you know, they really didn't, you know, the friction really couldn't come in and do what you wanted to do because of temperature, because you don't use it you know, at certain points of the track and you was on the brake and off of it real quick. So not a lot of temperature was getting put into the pad. Well, now that, um, you know, the shocks are better and the motors are better, you know, a lot of the teams and drivers, they, they have to trail brake in order to keep forward bite. So to be able to do that, you know, now you can use the brake pad. You can get the goodies we call in the brake pad. And we've got, you know, five, five or six combinations uh, that you can use um, it, it just depends on what type of track service you're running on at the time. Well, and that's great. So of the pad compounds, and more specifically, we have the 11, the 13, the 14, the 80, and the 97. Given those, that range of pads, which of those would be what you would call the most aggressive? Okay. And tell me what you mean by most aggressive, because you and I have sort of talked about aggressive being a piece of the puzzle. Absolutely. So your, your 97 pad, and um, anybody watching this video probably they know about the 97 pad. Half the country's on it, and it's. Uh, but the 97 pad in dirt racing, the reason it's so good is because it's got a good cold bite. So you know, in dirt racing, I mean, you all, you're unloading the car and you're taking the green flag for you can get your belts put together. You know, so you're on the track and off the track. So you need something that's going to bite immediately. Mm -hmm. So for those teams out there that. You know, if it's especially the beginning of the year and in, in places across the country where it's, it's still cold at night when you're racing, uh, you know, you don't have time to get any temperature in your in your pads. The 97 pad is is uh, is our prime premier pad for that. Um, when you look at the 11s and the 13s, the 13 pad is actually our NASCAR Martinsville pad. So you can imagine the temperature that it can take. Mm. So but but the downside is, you know, you need a little temperature to kind of get it working. All right, and so you don't have, again, you don't have a lot of time on the track to do that. Um, the 11 pad is kind of your middle of the road. Um, it's probably 30% less bite than the 13, 13 being the most aggressive. Um, now your 80 pad is, is what we'd call our, uh, not our aftermarket pad, but you know, a lot of teams will, you know, on the right corner, they want the softest pad they can get or the, or the hardest pad they can get on the right corner, uh, but still not drag and be able to release. Uh, which would be our 80 compound, which um, is probably, again, 30, 40 percent less bite than the rest of the, the part numbers we have. So uh, just to put it in perspective, um, you know, let's talk Kyle Strickler open wheel modified. You know, at Charlotte, you know, two years ago, we're, we're on a real dry, slick track. We actually made a pad change, believe it or not, made a friction change, you know, before the main event. And, uh, you know, Kyle wanted to, to put 80s in, on all four corners. And the thing with Kyle, you know, he's so used to the brakes now and he really counts on the brakes just like he does the motor and the, and the shocks. So with that 80 compound being a real light compound and the track being really dry with a lot of horsepower, uh, it was able just to give him enough bite just to stop the car straight, okay, and not free the car up. All right, now if you were to run a 97 or a 13, now you're fighting a, 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 lot, a lot of loose condition on a dry slick track. So. Yeah, you're right. I mean, just different compounds, different situations, uh, you know, brake pads uh, can make all the difference in the world. That is, that is absolutely fascinating. So if for someone who's just getting started with your pads, would you then recommend, hey, why don't you start with 97s on all four corners and then we can tune from there? Or, 
or, or what would you, what, what would be your recommendation? All right, well, I'll tell you, Kay, if you, if you were to call me, you know, I would, I would, first few questions I would ask you, of course, you know, what, what are you racing? And, um, and we'll, again, we'll stay on modifies. We'll stay on the, the GM metric type pad. Um, you know, if it's, if you're running a crate motor or an open motor, I mean, that'd be one question we'd want to know. Uh, what size master cylinders you're using, we would want to know. And if you're a trail breaker or if you're basically, you know, a, a stop and go type, you know, and kind of roll with the throttle. Um, so those are the types of questions we would ask. And, and then also, of course, the track surface and how many laps you're running in the feature. Um, you know, what size tire you run. I mean, there's, there's so many variables, you know, that go into it. But with PFC, you know, we're not going to, you know, we're not just going to say, oh, run the 97. You know, so we've, we've got a, a list of questions that, that uh, we've asked, you know, throughout the year. And, and, uh, and we know what to ask and what part of the country you're running at. So, I mean, there's just all, thing, all kinds of things that go into it. And, and we want to know because we want to win just as bad as you do. And we want to make sure we get you the right friction because we're going to be at the track with you. So, and, and, and our, our main goal is to be in victory lane with you too. So, but that's pretty much what we do. You know, we, again, we would, anything from the master cylinder sizes to the line sizes, the brake lines, the brake, uh, the brake fluids. So, I mean, it's, there's more to it than just, you know, hey, give me a 97 pad, you know, so. <laughs> Come on, Randy. I wanted a really simple solution here. <laughs> no, but for real, um, Randy and I have worked together for a long time. And if you're looking for new brake pads, regardless of your application, feel free to contact me and I can connect you with Randy. You can then buy the products through me. And, and we've we've worked together for a long time on that. And it's it's been a really, I'm really grateful for our relationship and what we've been able to do. Absolutely. And uh, this, has been, this has been some great information. So thank you so much for meeting with us today, Randy. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you guys too. And and thanks for everything you do in racing. Really, really appreciate all the support you do and give, give all, well, the whole industry. So great job to you. So thank you very much. PFC brake pads are available in our online store at CrateInsider.com. If you like what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button.